What's good, Josh? It's Bo Ross back here again with another video. So we got to talk about some concerning issues today involving The Rock uh, versus Roman at WrestleMania 40. And it's looking like that may be the main event, which we kind of got some indication of it last night on SmackDown. But at the same time, I was hoping and holding out hope <laughs> that um, maybe Cody would be, you know, challenging Roman for the title at the Elimination Chamber since he said it's not going to happen at this rest, this year's WrestleMania, but there are reports and rumors that are coming out that's saying that's possibly not going to happen and it doesn't sound good. It does not sound good in the sense of how they are booking this entire main event. It sounds very concerning just from the reports that are coming out today and it seems as if the online wrestling community aren't they're not liking what happened with the rock being involved i'm gonna show y'all some uh some um interesting stats on uh i think um wwe's official youtube page even though they've kind of taken away dislikes there's a way you can still check out the dislikes to like ratio and it's not looking good for the uh that particular segment involving the rock and roman reigns so um let me go and check out one of these articles with you guys and then we're gonna kind of check out also some tweets that have been sent to me involving this issue but not gonna lie to you it's it's looking it's looking pretty uh pretty bleak for cody's story potentially facing roman anytime uh, within the next well, for WrestleMania season for sure. Real reason for The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 reveal. The real reason why WWE changed plans to The Rock versus Roman Reigns for WrestleMania 40 main event has been revealed. With Cody Rhodes winning the 2024 Royal Rumble, a uh, Royal Rumble, it appeared that the American Nightmare would be getting another opportunity to finish the story in April, which a lot of people thought. Rhodes interestingly, uh, interestingly announced that he won't be challenging Roman Reigns for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship during the February 2nd edition of SmackDown. The following announcement, The Rock made a surprise return to confront the Tribal Chief, suggesting that the Great One will be facing off against the Rock, Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. Per Mike Johnson, PW Insider, numerous WWE sources have confirmed that The Rock vs. Roman Reigns is expected to be officially announced during Thursday's February 8th WrestleMania kickoff event in Las Vegas. The report noted that WWE decided to go with The Rock vs. Roman Reigns for WrestleMania 40, believing that the match would be a greater attraction for the, main, for the mainstream and would help create positive momentum for the company. Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel, WWE President Nick Khan, and other reported, reportedly backed this idea. PW Insider was also told this change was not made to uh, politic Cody out of the main event and uh, wasn't made out of malice. The change was made because the belief that The Rock would make the most money and to respect The Rock's new position in WWE's parent company, TKO Group. It was officially announced that The Rock had joined TKO Board of Directors on January uh, 23rd. Rock, Cody Rhodes' new WWE plans for WrestleMania 40 were also revealed, which you can read more about right here. So, and we're going to talk about his new plans, which makes no sense. So, basically what we got from this article is the fact that they wanted to do this match to kind of put push the company in the right direction. Obviously, with um, Vince McMahon, some of the stuff that's happened with Vince McMahon and the negative uh, look that it has brought over WWE with the whole um, case allegations and and the stuff that he was potentially doing to that young woman in the in the lawsuit and it it just. It didn't look too good, and then Brock being involved in it, John Laurinaitis, it, it, it wasn't a good look optically for WWE, but I do feel like they made the, pro the appropriate um, decisions to remove Vince, get him out of here, the same thing with Brock. So it looks like they're taking steps in the right direction, and I think people, the general consensus of people are like, okay, we can work with this. Let's get into WrestleMania mode. Here's the thing. 
I'm all for the rock and Roman happening. That's why I was excited last night. Even if we go with what I was thinking of last night. All right. I guess the rock really wants to do this match. Cool. Cody didn't say he, you know, didn't want to, you know, still take the title from Roman. If there's some type of master plan between Cody and the rock, I'm all for it. Hell, Let's have a match at Elimination Chamber. And I know some people are saying he needs to finish the story at um, at uh, this year's WrestleMania. But I'm fine with it. I get it. It is what it is. <clears throat> Take what you can give. Let's finish it at Elimination Chamber. Whatever. I'm sure the Rock's going to get involved. Cool. Well, if that's not the case, and it doesn't seem like that is, then Cody would... Her storyline wise, he would have to be one of the dumbest individuals to win a Royal Rumble back to back years because you essentially said, you know what? Here you go, Rock. You soften them up for me, and then I'll finish them off at some point. And then you kind of book yourself into a corner, potentially with the Rock and Roman, because I just don't see the Rock beating Roman for the title. If it wasn't for the title, yes. But I just don't see The Rock, of all people, beating Roman. Unless they're going to pull one of the biggest swerves in WWE history and actually have The Rock beat the Roman, I mean, beat Roman. That's the only thing that would make sense because, once again, you put you booked yourself into a corner now. You booked yourself into a corner where now The Rock doesn't look like he's going to win this. No matter what he says, it just doesn't, I just don't see Rock being the one to dethrone Roman because then it would be like, damn, well, it, it just doesn't make sense because then at that point, doesn't matter, doesn't matter about Cody's story and finally overcoming Roman Reigns. You know what I'm saying? Like it would now be Cody trying to overcome the Rock. It just, it doesn't make sense. And if you have the Rock lose, then what was the point? If The Rock loses to the Ro to Roman for the title, how are we going to believe anybody else is supposed to beat him? I, at that point, I wouldn't even believe Cody's supposed to beat him. Unless they do something else, which I'm really not hoping that they do, but the reports or rumors are looking like they may be going another route with Cody, which may ultimately make things worse, bro. It, it, uh all right, let me show y'all some of these images that I was sent, bro. This just, just, oh, bro. Shout out to the homie uh, Cornelius on Instagram. He's the one that's been keeping me up to date with a lot of the stuff that's been going on on social media and, like, just the insider news and stuff like that. So this is from WrestleOps. The current plan is for Cody Rhodes to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 40. No. No. That, that, that's... And I hope that's not the case. We don't know. But that makes absolute no sense, bro. That makes no sense. Because you literally spent time burying the World Heavyweight Championship before uh, Cody and Roman even came out there on SmackDown. You made it abundantly clear that the title that Roman is holding is the it's the premier title. And fans know that. We love Seth Rollins, but we know that title is a secondary title. We know that to be true. Technically, it was three titles at one point, and then they merged the WWE and Universal Championship. It's the secondary title. Roman didn't even have to say anything he said in that promo on SmackDown. We know it's the secondary title. Okay, cool. Then, you... you you have Cody come out there and say, even though Seth Rollins made a lot of great points, that's the title I want to go for, that Roman has. That's the title that my father held, but it was, it was taken away. So you've already proven that Cody wants to go for that title. So it makes no sense for him to have seek counsel to only give up his spot potentially and now go back to face Seth Rollins? That makes no sense. So that's why I'm hoping we got to see how things play out. I think Cody's supposed to be on this next episode of SmackDown. We need some fucking answers on what he's trying to do because we still don't know yet. And apparently The Rock and uh, Roman's supposed to have a face-off um, at this uh, 
the WrestleMania. Uh, it was like some kickoff event in Las Vegas this Thursday. So I'm going to definitely check that out. But most likely, if they're having a face-off, then there's a good chance that they're probably going to announce it then. But it, we kind of already have an idea they're going to main event WrestleMania this year. So that it's just, I, I just, I'm, I'm just confused, man. And I, I don't know. So we're going to check out this another image that was sent to me. This is also by Wrestle Ops as well. Those that at Fightful uh, Select spoke to uh, spoke to said that The Rock had not only pushed to work uh, work the match against Roman Reigns, some thought he was even pushing to win the match. Now here's the thing, and we just talked about that. If The Rock is winning this match, then Cody's story doesn't even it doesn't matter no more. It doesn't matter. What's the point? What is the actual point at that? Like, that doesn't even matter. I don't know. It's just, it, it, it'd be weird because now he he's the only guy that could have stopped Roman. Okay, he has the title. Is he going to be on the show every week, every other week? He's, he's most likely going to have the same type of schedule that Roman had, probably even less because of his other, you know, job duties he has to do. So that doesn't even make sense. We're not even going to have the, the championship on the show. So it's a lose-lose. That doesn't make sense. The reason why Cody and Roman worked again is because we can give the championship to Cody. You know, you can involve The Rock and he had built up the feud with Rock and Roman at next year's WrestleMania. But at least we'll have the championship on the show weekly. God. It's a lose-lose. You have them win. I'm sure there will be some people that will be shocked. Everybody would most likely be shocked. And, you know, fans there will probably be shocked. But in the long run, it messes up things. Cody technically would have never finished his story. We don't know what implication that means and where they go with that. And then on the other side of things, if you're going to have Cody face Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins is losing the match. He's not winning, dog. That makes no sense. He's not winning that match. So Seth Rollins will essentially lose to Cody again. And then what? We'll literally end up with one of the most predictable WrestleManias. Because I still think The Rock is going to lose to Roman because he has the title. And Seth is going to lose to um, to Cody. I thought Seth was going to lose the title at WrestleMania anyway because he's injured. So we, he's definitely going to lose to Cody if they do that match. So, I, ah, this is just very, it's very confusing, bro. None of this makes sense. Now we got to show, I got to show y'all the stats on, well, really the backlash from uh, The Rock returning. The Rock and Roman Reigns segment from last night, SmackDown now has surpassed 300,000 dislikes in under 15 hours, extending its record as the most disliked WWE YouTube video of all time. 2.5 million views so far. 77,000 likes, 310k dislikes. Now, once again, WWE, I don't think they're really too worried about that. Um, only because... I mean, one, I think the tickets are already sold out for WrestleMania. So even even if you want to push the narrative, they want to make more money. Well, I think the show is damn near already sold out anyway. How much more money could you make? If anything, you're probably trying to make more hype because The Rock is coming back to wrestle. That's the only thing I can see them ever saying. They're trying to make more hype, try to probably get more sponsors. The Rock is coming back. Get more eyes on it. That's about it. But outside of that, the event, the venue, is already damn near sold out for both nights. So that can't be it. It has to be other external factors. And we all know the internet wrestling community is much different than the ones that actually go to the shows, depending on what city. I also want to bring this up, that it's crazy how things have changed within just a few days. Remember, there was a lot of people talking about how predictable Cody winning the Royal Rumble was and how some people felt disappointed. They didn't want to see Roman versus um, Cody again. And, you know, people were definitely hating on Cody winning. There was a lot of people. 
downing it. And now a lot of those people are now <laughs> in favor of Cody getting some justice and, and feel like he's being, you know, mistreated here. It's crazy. It, it, the wrestling community can be some of the most interesting individuals. Now, granted, I understand why people would be complaining about this because it just doesn't look good, even no matter how they try to spin it. Optically, it does not look good that The Rock comes back. And now he's he's essentially forcing Cody to finish his story with Seth, even though that was never his story. I was under the impression that once again, Cody was going to finish the story, I guess, at Elimination Chamber. But that may not be the case, man. So I don't know. This is just... This is one of those type of things where I, I don't know. I don't know what you do here. This is this is very weird. And uh, I think we're going to check out one more tweet. And once again, nothing has been official yet. So I'm not going to say that this is true. But this doesn't look good if it does become official. The current plan for Cody Rose to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania 40, which it's a bad idea. While finishing the story was primed to climax at WrestleMania 40, they were they uh there were already some in WWE openly talking about the idea of Cody winning the World Heavyweight Championship and then challenging the winner of Roman versus Reigns, uh uh Roman uh Roman Reigns versus The Rock, um for SummerSlam in a title unification bout so that Cody could finally fit that. Oh my God. And that's why I, I, I don't want to believe this to be true. Because that, that sounds even worse. We literally would be doing this all over again. No, I don't think Seth should be fa facing uh, Cody at WrestleMania. No, just for him to drop it to Cody. No, I don't think it makes any sense for whoever wins out of Roman and The Rock to have a unification match for SummerSlam. No, we don't need to be unifying nothing else because uh, we, we'll literally be putting ourselves right back in the same situation. That's the only thing. We will literally be putting ourselves right back in the same situation that we were a few years ago when they unified the titles. So I don't know. I, I just, I don't think that, that that's not a good idea, bro. So what, Cody's going to have both of them and then he's going to drop one of them? Or is he going to just unify all the time? The title, the World Heavyweight Championship, the new one doesn't even have any lineage. So what's the point of unifying it? There's no lineage outside of Seth Rollins. And then it would be Cody. That's it. It's the only lineage he has. There's no point in doing that. I hope that's not the case. This is just all very concerning. I still have a little bit of hope, but... We I, that hope may be running out very quickly. Um, it, it it depends on what happens this Thursday with their whole WrestleMania uh, media press that they got going on this Thursday in Las Vegas. So it depends on that. It also depends on um, what happens on SmackDown. It also depends on what happens on Monday Night Raw. What Seth Rollins is going to say. What, he, what is he feeling like? What are they going to do to decide? Uh, it's, it's it's really confusing. It got it's very confusing. And I know some people are saying, well, things got into a disarray with CM Punk being uh injured or whatnot. And you can say that, but it, it's a simple out. If they if if the rumors are to be true that CM Punk was supposed to win and they pulled an out called an audible mid match because CM Punk was hurt, if those rumors are true, then you still it's easy. You it's it's really the easiest way to book this. You still have Cody versus um Roman Reigns, WrestleMania 40, have the rock interfere to help out Cody so he doesn't get screwed over again. And then then you can build towards Roman and the Rock WrestleMania 40. And then you can either have whoever wins the Elimination Chamber, whether it's Drew or whoever, you can have them. Uh, beat uh, Seth Rollins finally at this year's upcoming WrestleMania, WrestleMania 40. And then you could have even did a cash-in on Drew, which would f 
further the story that Drew can never <laughs> truly finish his story and have a cash in where you can have Damian Priest cash in and win and beat Drew McIntyre and become the new champion himself. You could you could do so many things. Like that probably would have made a lot more sense, but pushing the narrative that, oh, we're trying to, you know, further the company from the, the negativity that it's recently gotten, bro. I don't believe that only because people are going to be excited for WrestleMania regardless. You you trying to push that narrative. I think it more so it's it's coming down to money and maybe getting other sponsors and more people to watch only because The Rock is such a big superstar. That's really it. But I think Cody main eventing against Roman Reigns would have been just fine. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. It's very concerning. Like I said, last night, I was very optimistic. All right, maybe they're going to do something at the Elimination Chamber. Like, all right, cool. I know that's not the ideal situation, Rock versus Roman at WrestleMania, but as long as Cody gets the championship before then, all right, whatever. Now it's not looking like that's the case, and it's very confusing. We don't know what's going on still, so I'm not going to trash it yet, but if these reports are true, yeah, bro, you can just go ahead and, and close close the book on Cody's story. And me, personally, I'll probably stop caring myself now. Because then it'll be like, what's the point? What, what is the point now? So I hope this is not the case. We will see. Comment down below. Let me know, do you guys believe these rumors that have been circulating? Do you guys believe that, um, that Cody instead will be facing Seth Rollins for the championship at WrestleMania 40? And then potentially facing Roman Reigns at this year's SummerSlam. Also, do y'all feel like, because I, I do believe The Rock and uh, Roman, that's probably going to, that's most likely locked in. Do y'all feel that if that does main event WrestleMania, that The Rock will actually win the match? Or do y'all feel like it's going to be super predictable and The Rock is going to most likely lose? Let me know how y'all feel about all of these, these recent story updates and whether you believe them or not. It's just chaos. Unnecessary chaos. I don't know, man. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping with me. See you on next one. Peace.